Today is the Feast of St. Joseph, and earlier I spoke with Jem Sullivan for her perspective on the life of St. Joseph as depicted in a 16th century painting. Joining us now is Jem Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Jem, welcome back. So great to see you. Uh, so tell us, what's special about today's Feast of St. Joseph? Well, good to see you too, Tracy, and thanks for having me. You know, there are two days in the liturgical year when the church celebrates the virtues of St. Joseph. The first is today's feast of St. Joseph, husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the second is the feast of St. Joseph, the worker, on May 1st. This year, both feasts are special because we are in the year of St. Joseph, called for by Pope Francis in his apostolic letter, With a Father's Heart. And this year of St. Joseph is really an invitation to draw close to the man who was closest to Jesus and Mary, to learn from and to imitate his virtues. Jim, tell us, what do we see in this beautiful painting from the National Gallery of Art? Sure. You know, Joseph was warned in a dream to take Jesus and Mary to Egypt to escape the jealous rage of Herod. In this 16th century painting from the National Gallery of Art, uh, the artist sets this gospel scene in a natural setting of rolling hills and winding streams and trees. Uh, the fast-moving clouds in the distance seems to accompany the Holy Family as they travel across this landscape. On the left, we see Mary, clothed in beautiful robes of red and blue, holding the infant Jesus close to her heart. They're seated on a donkey, evoking the future when Jesus will enter Jerusalem on a donkey. And on the right, we see St. Joseph with a walking stick in hand, guiding his family down the road as they flee to safety. If Joseph takes one more step, he walks right out of the painting. The artist conveys the urgency of this moment and the courageous faith of Joseph as he leads Jesus and Mary to safety in this moment of distress. And Jim, finally, before I let you go, what's your takeaway on this feast day? Sure. You know, there are no spoken words of St. Joseph recorded in the Gospels, Tracy, uh, and his silence is a profound lesson, for the actions of St. Joseph speak louder than any words he said. Pope Francis notes that among the many virtues of St. Joseph was his creative courage that turned problems into moments of God's grace. Um, so it was the courage of St. Joseph that protected the Holy Family at this moment. So on his feast day, in a year dedicated to him, the Church invites us to turn to St. Joseph to find renewed strength in the courage of the saintly man who was privileged to be the husband of Mary and the guardian of the Redeemer. Well, Jem, thank you so much for coming on. We really appreciate it. Jem Sullivan, author of The Beauty of Faith. Thank you again and great to see you. You're welcome, Tracy.